Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katerina and I'm a professional makeup artist and this channel all about beauty and makeup. I specialize on weddings and bridal makeup. This is one of my main niches and this makeup artistry job makes me the most busy. Working with my brides, I got super inspired to share with you a lip combar. My brides love, absolutely love every time I do this on them. They just go absolutely insane and they ask me all the time, what did I use? They ask in the products. But the main thing in today's video is to show you technique how to make the complicated, beautiful Pinterest lips. Because honestly, all those inspiration I get from my brides are directly from the Pinterest. So I want to show you very exciting trick you probably didn't think about. Like you do your lips or so line your lips. I promise it's going to be very helpful. So stay with me, hit the like button and continue to watch this video. Before I start showing you how to do a beautiful lip combination I use a lot on my brides, I want to tell you something. A lot of those Pinterest makeup looks you see makeup artists usually do not use just one particular lipstick or color. We do mix things together and I highly recommend you to mix your makeup together. Don't be afraid because only through experiments you can get something super excited. So usually makeup artists combinate different uh, products, lipsticks, textures. What I usually do for my brides, the main goal is to have lipstick and like makeup in general stay as long as possible so bride can enjoy her time, her day, not just touching up those lipsticks every single moment. So in this case, I usually use lip liner as a base underneath the lipstick if I'm going to use any lipstick or I just do the whole lip makeup with lip liners. This make lipstick stays so much longer even after bride eats, drinks champagne, kisses. It makes it so much longer than uh, creamy textures products. So I personally adore technique of using uh, lip liners as my main product for the uh, lip makeup. And today I'm going to show you a very cool lip combo you definitely want to repeat. And usually before I even start doing anything, I use in my concealer brush with a little bit of concealer left. And I just use this leftovers on the lip to cover a natural pigment. So lip product colors pop up as close to its original color as possible. So this is my first step. Looks like lips from 2000s. I swear to God, my first experience with makeup was just to take foundation and concealer and put all over my lips. And it was the thing. And that time, for some reason, I was in school and it was the thing to wear lips like that, just with a concealer or very, very light lipstick like this. It was a real, real fashion. However, we are not going to leave lips like this, we continue with Knik. So I'm going to use MAC Lip Pencer. Color is Whirl. I really love this color for my brides, for the weddings. It's, it's 
gorgeous, beautiful. So I'm going to line my lips first. I always start with middle, bottom, right under the lip. After that, I go and work on the cupid. cupid. My personal ta taste, I don't like a very like pronounced, sharp cupid. I like it very soft. So, and I do like overline, honestly. So I connected my top lips, now the bottom. I gave myself a little gift with extra puffiness on my lips. That's why we love makeup so much. And now I'm starting to fill in corner, from the corners to the center. And the very center part, I will leave untouched. I leave it like this. And now I'm taking a lighter pink. So it's Miss clear, but I can't unfortunately see the shade anymore, but it's very light, dusty pink color. So you can uh, use whatever you have much, much lighter than you have on your lips. And I start moving and applying On the middle. And using this lighter color, I blend everything. It gives a perfect base for the lipstick in case I would like to add any lipstick, but you can leave it like this, or you can add a little bit of lipstick. And I'm going to use MAC. I will add just a tiny little bit because it's the uh, beautiful combination. And, and my shade is MAC Cream Cup. Very, very bridal. Brides just adore this. Uh, this is a lipstick from my professional kit, so I will take a disposable lip brush. I don't need much, but I just need to make sure I have a decent amount on the lip brush. And now I only will apply on the middle. Then we get you closer and just see how stunning and flawless this lip is. Everything is nicely blended together and it's super easy and super fast. The main idea is just to use a several different shapes of your lip liners. So it will stay with you for so much longer that you're going to uh, come back to this video and comment and say, Katerina, oh my gosh, thank you so, so much for this uh, little tip. It was in my very, very quick hop on and I just was super excited and 
inspired to share this tip with you guys. So please subscribe. If you still not subscribed, hit the slang button, leave a comment, show some love. Let me know that you actually watching this and let's build a community. Let's talk, let's discuss uh, everything on the comments below. And if you have any ideas for my future videos, something you really, really want to learn, also please go ahead and let me know what are you interested in so I can create a great content for you. I'm still on my way to 500 subscribers and I'm very excited that I'm getting actually very close. And please support me in this journey. Uh, hit the subscription button and... Stay glammed, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next videos. <laughs> Bye.